the age of patients is definitely increasing in the veterinary offices. And I know in my own practice, I've seen some of the oldest patients that I've ever seen in probably the last four or five years. It wasn't to say that I didn't get a geriatric patient into my practice previously, but geriatric patients were cats that were 16 or cats that were 14. Now I'm seeing cats that are 20. It's just amazing. Better veterinary care, better owner care, better owner awareness. All of those things are bringing our patient population to us. And we have had the opportunity in the past decade to truly bust the myth that patients are too old at some point for anesthesia and care. And we know that they are not. I still get patients in the practice uh, and it's all anesthesia. So when I get a patient in the practice where they've been told by someone, whether it's their regular doctor that they see or by one of their friends or by the web, the, you know, the web is the master of all good and bad information. So they have been told, oh, your dog or your cat is way too old or your rabbit is way too old for anesthesia. They're way too old to get care. Well, we know that's absolutely not true. Now, as we age, there are certain things that we have to pay close attention to because we lose our reserve. We're using it up because we're living our lives. And if you have lived your life well, you won't have much reserve left when it's finally time to leave this place. However, when we're old, when our veterinary patients are old, we deserve to have complete care, not skipping steps because we're old, not relying on old techniques because the patients are old and the techniques are old, but giving them complete, vigilant, appropriate care based on the fragility that old patients have. So our senior pet patient population or geriatric pet population is definitely growing. Now, the American Animal Hospital Association did a study back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, and that may be before some people who might be listening to this were born, or uh, or maybe that's a short cutoff. But anyway, and they said the pet population over 11 years of age increased 25% between 96 and 2001. Now, that 11 years of age, I'm not sure where they got that from. I think that was arbitrary. Because if you think about Great Danes or Mastiffs, they don't usually live to be 11 years of age, but we definitely see them in their older years, which may be six, seven, or eight years of age. So that 11 years of age was just an arbitrary cutoff. And they use the word geriatric in the report. However, when we look at geriatric, really what we're talking about are patients that are exceeding 75 to 80% of their predicted lifespan. So that might be 14 or 15 years old in cats. Now, dogs, it's based upon breed. And so we have the giant breeds of dogs that live to be, you know, six, seven, eight years old. We have little tiny dogs that may live to be 18 or 19 years old. Just amazing. The thing that we do know is at a certain point in our lifespan, and getting old is just a normal part, a usual part, an expected part of the life continuum. We'll all get there one day. Some of us are probably feeling really old uh, by now in our lifespan. However, we'll all get to the point where we're geriatric. Hopefully, there'll be good years for all of us, including our pets. So when we get to 75 to 80% of our predicted lifespan, it's not, bam, all of a sudden, a switch gets flipped and we're fragile. Fragility starts to build up until then. Lack of reserve starts to build up until then. But that's when we really start to see it as almost measurable. We have to scale our drugs back for age. Now, there's no guidelines for veterinary patients. There are guidelines for people. So what the recommendation in this anesthetist article that was published in 2012, now that is a while ago, um, and I'm sure everyone reads the anesthetist, but it's a good journal. It's a European journal. And this guideline was published for people. It says people's expected lifespan is about 80 years. And you could say, oh, no, it's 82, it's 84, it's 86. In some countries, it might be 90 or 92. However, they fudged it at about 80. They said we should start scaling doses at about half life expectancy because as we age, we need lower doses to achieve the same drug effects 